Alright, I'm back with our fudge. It is done. This is our fudge. Um, Alright, so what I did is I let it sit and chill um, in the in the refrigerator, uh, or in, in the freezer, and then um, after a while cut, so cut the lines. You can see on there. Also put some coconut on top, some raw organic coconut, um, and then put it back in the refrigerator to set. And also, I have to say, really good with the goji berries. Very, very good idea. Um, so, I'm going to keep it in there because depending on the type of recipe you use, they will become mushy. Um, or if you're using raw versus processed cocoa or just what type of, what, what type of ingredients you're using. Um, what we have to consider is that our bodies are our actual temples now. And because of that, we need to act like it. We must actually go about the way we eat in a way that supports the ascension process. And so I know listing off, you know, different foods wouldn't really be helpful for people because at this point people pretty much already know all the superfoods that you could think of to um, to be to be eating so yes eat them yeah and also algae um, if no one mentions that one uh, some sort of algae uh, um, all of the fruits um, we're moving more towards um, non-gluten type grains. It's not that gluten's bad, it's just that we process the gluten so much that it's just better if we avoid it right now. So, um, grains and seeds, and then um, after grains, seeds, and legumes, like be be beans, lentils, um, then also all kinds of nut oils. All the nut oils um, are our best friend. Um, avocado oil, walnut oil, almond oil, coconut oil, um, anything that's a nut or seed or something, oil, yeah, um, go for it, oil. Um, any uh, organic fruit, all of the juicing, um, everything everything along those lines the ascension diet does really make a difference I can definitely say so because when when I was in in, in the reptilian prison place um, not being able to have any kind of actual good food was really detrimental um, and you know, I was still able to, I was, I was, you know, it's not, you, you, pe people have to understand that you don't need, um, you know, to have to have the clean water, you don't need to have the, all the raw vegan food, if you're a vegan that suddenly gets trapped in an awful environment like that, you don't need all of that stuff, you can still adapt and, and, um, survive otherwise, um, but as long as it's under your control, try to get um, the most raw, organic, and vegan items possible. Now, the one problem that we have is that the companies that are running everything um, are the companies that are pro this agenda, this program that is trying to kill me. That this this program that would have had a nuclear war as a as a false flag to get us into some sort of war with Russia or something um, or with the Middle East or I don't I don't even I don't know any of the details I don't want to know um, but we would have the, there there has been extraterrestrial interception of nuclear war that would have occurred and so that is why this is now um, this is now all happening to me because I'm apparently the 
human that did it. Um, and I, I'm not sure if there are other people out there now, but somebody thought that, uh, what, sends me the thing on YouTube saying that, um, uh, something on the news about how nuclear missiles suddenly just went off the computer system and no one could figure out how to work them, as if they just went offline. Like, like you unplugged a computer and you couldn't turn it on. As if the nuclear missiles were suddenly unplugged and no one knew what to do, um, to get to to get control of them. They, they weren't being controlled by the government. They were being controlled by something else. Um, and they said in the report, they don't believe anything, you know, consciously did that. I thought that that's funny. They didn't believe they consciously did that. Yeah, I don't think I consciously did that. No. Um, if I unconsciously did it, I, I think that, that would be probable. Um, uh, Consciously, no, I no, I didn't consciously attempt to do anything. No, but um, un unconsciously is definitely a probable one there, uh, because I know I'm supposed to be stopping any kind of nuclear war. It is not cool to blow stuff up, people. How how off? How much do you need to see death to understand that you don't want it in front of you? Um, now with uh, with the ascension diet. Um, we need to start growing our own food. We're going to have to stop relying on the brands at the store. It's been really easy to go to the store and buy this and whatever you know, and, and such. We have to put, you know, put, put our money where our mouth is. Uh, ironically, you know, if, you know, a system with no money, well, um, we have to create it somehow. Um, a system, say, you know, involving uh, involving farming or um, permaculture, we have to actually do it somehow. And if we think we can do it and blow stuff up at the same time, that's incompatible. That's why people who are pro-permaculture are trying to murder me, and we're on the same damn side, who, who would have supported, you know, blowing stuff up, um, or people in, you know, religious wars and dying, um, this is needless suffering, needless death, and so, because everybody does want so badly to have a world of peace. That is why this hatred is being intercepted the way it is, and being intercepted if it's by, um, if it's, if it's only, you know, one, one girl practically right now that, that knows, other than, uh, other than a bunch of reptilians, that um, that's the reason the the bomb didn't explode in the ocean on August twenty first or something. Okay, if um, that's all some sort of ploy to get people to just get mad at me, okay. Um, if none of it's real and is supposed to be made to be me manipulated by harp technology, okay. Um, what whatever I just know that um, by following the supercomputer cryon, I'm alive. So um, I would say that the experiences that I've had do have do have some um, merit. Um, at least those that do those those that have to do with the Ashtar command, they they really did because then people seriously were trying to absolutely kill me and. Um, it was not, it was not funny, um, it, it a absolutely assassinate me, and I just was like, wow, had to, had to walk, the scariest walk of my life, um, knowing that I was about to almost die, and that Cryon was telling me, oh, it's okay, you're gonna do it, and you're gonna live through, <laughs> you are, you are going to almost die, and you are going to live, being told that is really, really crazy. Um, I thought, oh my god, I think I know what Jesus felt like, <laughs> um, like walking into that and, and, and getting, letting yourself get hit by stuff like that. Um, 
So with protecting ourselves, um, we have to go back to what um, what has caused us to have enemies in the first place. That right there is a very complicated question when you were born with apparently a purpose written out on a piece of paper, but your soul came with another contract written out. And the parent and the kid disagree where exactly the problem came from. What, what happened first, the chicken or the egg? You know what, I'm not sure. Um, how about I contemplated over some really awesome Ascension fudge. And I'll see you next time, then, on Arcturian Philosophy. Namaste.